Thanks. Almost every breath she takes is dripping with drama or bizarre twists. And you need to know Casey Anthony is going back to court. She has another pretrial hearing scheduled for tomorrow. A bunch of witnesses and evidence are on the table for debate. That includes George Anthony's suicide note. Police found George despondent in a Daytona Beach motel room in January. His lawyer wants George's note kept private and out of Casey's trial. Well, you never know what's going to happen in these hearings. That's why Fox 35 is working for you, bringing you the entire hearing live. Look for live coverage around 3.30 in the afternoon right here on Fox 35. We'll also stream it live for you over the Internet through MyFoxOrlando.com. Then, of course, we'll have it wrapped up for you in the evening starting on Fox at 5. Evidence tells us Casey Anthony hyperventilated the day that she found out investigators had found what turned out to be her daughter's body. But we might never get to see that reaction. Tonight, Fox 35 has learned Jose Baez, Casey's lead attorney, is threatening to sue if jailhouse video from that day back on December 11th gets out. Baez says the tape also has conversations he had with Casey that day, and he says releasing the tape would break attorney-client privilege. The jail tells us it does record video, but not audio. The sideshows with Casey don't end there. Now lawyers are putting more heat on her brother. And the guy's not even accused of doing anything wrong. It's all connected to the civil case against his sister. Casey Anthony told police a nanny named Zenaida Fernandez Gonzalez took her daughter. A woman with that same name is now suing, saying Casey has ruined her reputation. Casey's brother had to tell lawyers what he knows, but apparently they didn't like some of his answers. Fox 25's Holly Bristow with the two questions that they're pressing. We've heard from this Zenaida Gonzalez, a woman with the same name as the babysitter Casey Anthony claims took Kaylee. This is video from two weeks ago after Lee Anthony, Casey's brother, was grilled by Gonzalez's attorneys for three hours. I had, never, I had never heard that name before. But apparently, that wasn't enough. Now, Morgan and Morgan wants a judge to force Lee Anthony to answer two questions his attorney, Thomas Luca, objected to in depositions two weeks ago. Question one, who is Kaylee Marie's father? Why do you think that they would need to know who Kaylee's father is? I have no idea. It, is, it has absolutely no relevance whatsoever to the defamation case. The second question, if Lee Anthony ever thought it possible that his sister was responsible for little Kaylee's disappearance. What Mr. Anthony's opinion is of how the facts in this case in the actual murder case, again, have no real bearing as to the defamation suit. Gonzalez's lawyers were not available for comment today, but Lee Anthony's attorney believes Gonzalez's lawyers have an agenda other than clearing their client's name. I'm pretty sure it's all for publicity in this, in this particular case. Now, Lee Anthony's attorney, Thomas Luca, tells me he will be objecting to that motion. He has 10 days to file the paperwork to do so. At some point in time, there will be a hearing before Judge Jose Rodriguez. He's the judge presiding over this civil case, and it will ultimately be up to him if Lee Anthony does have to answer those questions. Reporting in the newsroom, Holly Bristow, Fox 35 News.